Good morning, everybody, and welcome to the first day of classes. My name is Melissa Heber Johnson, and I'm your instructor for Art 100 online this semester. And I thought I'd get us started off on the first day of the first week by just giving you a little tiny tour around the class before you do your orientation. Okay, well, I think the best way to get started is to do a little tour of um, the various menus, which they're really two, I guess three, you could say. Where we are now is on our home page, which is, of course, somewhere you've already found because you found this video. And um, please ignore this course is unpublished up here. Otherwise, this looks pretty much the way um, a student's uh, course should look at this time. So I'm going to start by um, working on your left side and then your right side. And then I'm going to leave student view so I can show you what the top banner uh, can do for you. Okay, all right. So uh, over here on the left, we have some pretty important information. You can see that this is your course number, Art 100 section 11W or section 12W. I'm doing the same video for both sections because they're pretty much identical. It tells you the term. And this, the reason this is important is because um, just referring to the top banner where it says courses, it'll list your courses and maybe there might be some in there and your customized view that are old. So um, just be sure that you're in the right semester, the right course. Home page leads you right here, the landing page, which I have right now just saying welcome and have this video um, appearing. Then there's syllabus. Notice that syllabus is in the uh, menu permanently, so it's always there. You can always take a look at it. Let's just take a look at it quickly right now. A syllabus is like any syllabus you see for your classes. Real basic information like the course objectives, um, contact information, course catalog information, requirements, which of course are really important and you're going to learn a lot more about in your orientation today. Okay, and that's there uh, all semester. Uh, notice too, I'm just going to refer you real quickly to the fact that there's a calendar over here sometimes. Sometimes you'll see this calendar and that's very helpful, but actually probably the most, the most uh, useful calendar will be the one that you'll find up here. So we'll get to that very shortly. Um, modules over here back to our left side is the next link modules is the place where you're going to spend a lot of time this semester that's where all your weekly work is linked from it's the place where you go to really follow along with what's happening chronologically in the course in fact at right now at the top of modules is the orientation module and notice that uh, for each module you can click this little carrot uh, to open or close it for whatever's convenient for you. If you are like, okay, I'm done with orientation, let's move on and see what's below it. And clicking the carrot helps you get there faster. And so you can see that all the units are numbered and they're all here, but they're not all open, right? So you'll hear in your uh, orientation how um, uh, each module or unit opens um, on Monday mornings. So the first one is open and the rest of them aren't. Okay, so, but that's where it is, and you can see um, that they're all there waiting uh, for the time, the right time. Okay, so modules is a very useful place. Um, we just, you know, use this page modules because it's the easiest place to store and organize everything easily. All right, assignments is uh, where you'll find all the assignments, whether it's the ones that you find in modules or not. Uh, and I wanted to show you a little trick. So if you're ever wondering, okay, I'm looking at assignments and I just see one great big long list of assignments, including quizzes, including papers, including discussions. Boy, that's really not very helpful. I mean, it is chronological, but it kind of looks messy, right? So here's a quick tip. Uh, go up to the top and where it says show by date or type, click type. So if you want a little bit more organization so you can get an overview of what everything is, you notice now it's organized by type of assignment papers or exams, or unit discussions, or unit quizzes, right? So, okay, and then what is next? Discussions. Now, discussions and assignments, when they are part of a module, they're linked in the module, but if you ever just wanna skip that and just go right to the assignment or discussion, you can click one of these links on the left. So discussions is where we do most of, we, where we do our interactions, uh, on a weekly basis. Uh, there's also a couple of discussions that are kind of more casual and so um, that's something mentioned uh, in the orientation you can check out. Quizzes. Every exam 
everything that's a test of any kind is in quizzes, okay? So you have our assignment quizzes, which is our weekly quizzes, and our exams are kind of thrown all in there together, including the practice quiz, which is um, actually the quiz you'll take at the end of your orientation today. But don't worry, the orientation's a module, and like all of those modules, you just kind of follow them along until you're done. And um, it gives you all the links there uh, to help you. Grades is pretty self-explanatory. That's where you'll find any grades that are submitted for you. And then library is just a nice, neat little link to the library. All right, so that's our left-hand uh, uh, menu. Let's take a look at the right-hand menu. I want to direct your attention to this, even though, frankly, I don't want you to use this very much, just because uh, the to-do list, the course stream, yeah, it looks really convenient. Hey, why bother with all this other stuff when I've got a to-do list in front of me? Well, it's because not everything always ends up there. Not everything ends up on your calendar. Uh, not everything ends up on your calendar at the time you want it to be. If something's due two weeks from now, it's not going to be in your to-do list, right? So the to-do list is kind of there for convenience, but it is definitely please listen to me right now, not something you should rely on, uh, even on a weekly basis. It's just kind of there for your convenience with a quick link. If you think, oh, I got to do that discussion. Oh, here's a quick link to it. But don't rely on it in order to tell you what you have to do because it'll only give you a couple of things. And as you know, every class has lots and lots of things that have to be done. Okay, so I'm going to leave student view right now, and I'm going to do that with the intention of showing you the uh, the top row. Okay, so this top row here uh, is very helpful. Notice that it has my name. When you're logged in, it'll have your name, and that's some place where you can click to make some adjustments. I would appreciate, I love it when all my online students post um, a picture um, uh, here. So if you would do that, that would be great. It, I know it's really tiny and it doesn't really get me to know what you look like, but it does give me something visual to associate with your name and it, gets, it just really does help me to know you better. I think you'll probably agree as the course goes on that the same is true for you and your instructors. So go to your link with your name to your settings and if you click the little um, a pencil and you can upload a picture. Okay, so please do that. It doesn't have to be a picture of you. It can be like a little icon or it can be, um, you know, a little avatar of some time and that's fine. Just something that I can associate with your name is very helpful for me to feel like I know you a little bit better. Also, um, this ways to contact over here, um, please uh, add an email address. And the reason I ask you to do that is because um, the inbox for this course website for Canvas, which is up here, uh, if you add an email address here, the inbox will forward to that email address when emails are sent to you. And that is very helpful. Because then you don't have to log in every couple of hours to see if you have an email. You can get it to whatever email you use on a regular basis, okay? Great. So what else do we have up in this top row? Well, uh, we've got a link to, uh, over here, uh, your main landing page, the uh, dashboard, so to speak. That's what this Black Hawk College logo is. You'll have all your recent activity, all your coming up stuff. Uh, you'll have, of course, up here at the top, courses and groups. Notice I'm in a lot of courses. It's because I teach a lot of courses, and I also belong to some groups. Your grades, a quick link, and the calendar. Okay, so last two things I want to show you before I leave you today are the calendar and the inbox. So let's take a look at the calendar. All right, now um, your calendar won't look as messy as mine does because you probably don't have as many online classes as I do, or maybe you do, who knows. Um, but let's select Art 111W. Now for any of your calendars, yeah, it's going to look blank until you select something over here. So let's select this course. Now it's going to show me all the things for that course. So we have classes begin today, holiday college closed for yesterday, and then the dates of when uh, our assignments are due, and those correspond to um, the events uh, in the course website. But also things like when your reviews for exams open, when exams are available, all those dates are already in the calendar. So what's helpful to do right now, and I, I think I mentioned this in the orientation, but in case you don't catch it, is to look for all of those, um, look at all of those and see, are these going to work out for me, right? Is there is there any problem that I'm going to perceive with um, any of these uh, exam dates, um, you know, as they might coincide with events in your personal life, okay? So that's always a great idea. 
And then the last thing I want to show you is this inbox. So inbox, uh, so inbox is very handy. Now the reason I've already pulled up an email is because I realized that I don't want to show you all the emails from my other students. Um, but if you click inbox, you'll have a list over here on your left hand side of all the messages you have received for actually I think all your courses that you've ever taken and you will take. You can send a message very easily uh, by uh, going to uh, this top row and clicking the icon for that, compose a new message. And it's very much like composing an email anywhere. Uh, select your course. I can select Art 11W. Select two. Well, you don't want to just put an email address in here. I mean, this really isn't an email system the way all your other email systems are. It's more like uh, private messaging within the course website. So you have to select people that are enrolled in the courses, including your instructors. So um, you're going to click this little address book. And since you've already selected the course, you can select to send it to all or some, right? And you can select teachers if you want. And then you can send something to me right very easy easy all right and that's it that's all we're going to do today um please uh spend some time today with your orientation and looking around the course website and making sure everything makes sense for you after you've done the orientation you've done the orientation quiz if any questions still remain please feel free to message me through inbox have a great first day